do you ever get a little bit bored of the buildings in Minecraft and think, you know, I've done that medieval castle, I've done that modern building, and now I kind of want to try something a little bit different. In this building series, we're going to be looking at some rather unique builds that you can do when you want to add a little bit of spice to your world. These are traditional Romany traveller caravans, and I'm going to be showing you how to build one of them and the ways that you can decorate them to make them look really lush and lifelike and bring a little bit more life to your world. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed my uh, talking on the phone voice that I used in the intro to the video. Uh, what I've got for you here is the block palette that we're going to be using today. Now after building a few of these caravans I found that the dark oak is the, the kind of one that looks best and looks most authentic in my opinion uh, with the contrast of this wonderful honey block next to it. This block palette here is kind of subject to your whim so you can kind of use whatever you like for these. Although I have found that obviously the red is the most common colour of kind of Roma caravan that you will see in real life. So the basic shape of the caravan is five blocks on either end and then eight blocks across. Although the roof, when we do it, will actually slightly overhang this, but this is the basic shape that you want to start with. I'm going to start by placing a, a full block and then one over there just so that we have this then slab up on the upper block and this is going to form the floor of our caravan. So we're going to take this all the way and actually make sure that you overhang it at the front so that it goes the full eight block length of the caravan. Once you've done that, we're going to place the wheels and these are going to be the stripped dark oak. So they face out that way, so they've got that nice dark shape there and I think that looks quite nice. Each one of them is going to be indented, just one. So on the same on this side as well. And there you have your wheels. Now to do the base of the caravan, what I'm going to do is place a placeholder block of any kind there, just so that above all of the wheels I can have an upside down stair and that will create the effect of a wheel arch. I'm going to put the yellow terracotta here. I'm going to put two placeholders there, put another yellow terracotta there, and I'm going to delete these because eventually we're going to replace this with the glazed terracotta, but because that part is quite difficult, I'm going to come to that last. Same again, I'm going to place the honey block there and then the upside down stair to give it the effect of a wheel arch. Exactly the same on this side, guys. Placeholder block, upside down stair, yellow terracotta, and I'm going to go all the way across delete these two in the middle, upside down stair, and then the honey block on the end, and you should have something that looks like this. Now this is the part where I'm going to make a fool of myself because I always struggle to place these blocks, and what you want to get is this little bit here where it's kind of like a circle in the middle, so I know if I stand there that bit's going to be there, so I can actually put that on top, so I know that bit's going to be there, and now it's trial and error. Oh, almost, but not quite. There we go. <laughs> now the same on the other side. And with a lot of persistence, you'll manage to get the pattern correct. Now this is the point where you need to decide which end is going to be the front of the caravan because they do look slightly different. So on the front of the caravan, I'm gonna place just two blocks here so that we have room for the doorway. And then I'm gonna have upside down stairs here and all the way across so that we have somewhere for people to rest their feet whilst they are driving the horses. On the back end, I'm going to place any old placeholder block and then I'm going to have three coming out like this so that the back of the caravan will be slightly hanging over the edge here so that we can have a little bit more room on the inside. Above all the wheel arches, I'm going to place three spruce logs like this and this will create the ceiling for the inside of the caravan. So it's going to go up like that and I'm also going to place a traditional Minecraft roofing arch same again on this side, and now you can see how high we want the caravan to be. For the roof, I'm going to come out two on both sides, so we can have one on top of this block here and then one hanging over the edge. I'm going to go all the way along, one on the block there and one hanging over the edge like this. To line the roof, we're going to be using our spruce stairs and I'm going to put them up the side like this. When I come to do this side, this one here is going to be an upside down stair, then two the right way up and all the way along the middle here to the other spruce block, we're going to have upside down stairs like this and then one the right way up and one more the right way up. I'm going to finish filling in these. On the top block here, you want to put a full block like this and then just go down and repeat this on the same side. So two spruce stairs here. On this block here, we're going to have an upside down stair 
two that are the right way up all the way along here oops not like that <laughs> with upside down stairs until you get to here and then two more that are the right way up right way up right way up and then to finish off we're just going to put a full block here right now we're ready to fill in our walls it's pretty simple most of the way around we'll start with the sides because they're the easiest now we're actually going to go inside to do this so that we can make sure we go all the way up to the ceiling so we're going to fill it up like this we're going to leave a two block gap here which is going to be our window and then that's one wall same again on this side we're going to go all the way up to the ceiling and leave a two block gap there which is going to be our window on the back you want to place blocks going all the way up from both honey blocks on the side here and where we've put these upside down stair you're going to place three yellow blocks and then we're going to take this up until we reach the ceiling here and then we're just going to fill this in and if you want to you can leave this open as a window but i'm actually just going to fill that in on the front here we want two more blocks here so that the people who are sitting down in their seats are raised up slightly so you want to put two stairs there and behind these i'm going to place blocks all the way along in fact actually we're going to put honey blocks here because i think that looks really rather nice and if you want to you can actually get rid of these here and replace them with pink ones so you have a little bit more of the pink wall visible just to finish off on the outside i'm actually going to place a full block just here and then a half one inside so that we can place a door which i'm just going to grab from my inventory so we have a door here you're gonna to have to go inside to place it there we are so that that is nice and flush with the wall just to finish off the decoration on the outside here i'm going to be placing gates on the inside like this now i've had this coming out quite far on the front here but if you want it to go in one that's absolutely fine uh, it depends kind of what look you're going for and then on the very top block here i'm going to place a lantern i'm going to place a window in here and on the actual window pane you want to place a trapdoor like that so that it can actually be closed on this side we're going to do something very similar we're going to place inside there the window panes i've chosen frosted window panes because i quite like the mysterious look that it gives the caravan same on this side we're going to place our window panes and then we're going to place the two trap doors and finally i'm going to take these trap doors and make a line of them all the way up the top here just to kind of connect those two pieces and give it a little bit of a, a flair on this side i'm going to be adding a chimney and what i'm going to do is take it from this pink block here so from the front is over here you've got one uh, one two three four we're going to go not this one but on top of this one here is going to be where our chimney is and we will connect that up on the inside in a moment i'm also going to put a stair block uh, not stair sorry a ladder block just there so that you can actually get up into the caravan like that the inside of the caravan is arguably just as important as the outside because this is where we can add a lot of interesting features to kind of tell a story about the person who might live in here. So first of all, we're going to create our storage area at the bottom here, which is just going to consist of three chests in a line like this, not like that, like this. And then on top of this, what we're going to do is we're going to place half slabs so that they are on the bottom block above all the way up to where this wood is. And then we're going to place them on the upper block. And on this side, we're going to fill this all in right the way down to the floor. So now you can still access all of these chests, but there is a kind of enclosed area. And on this, we're going to place a ladder. And inside here in the moment is where we're going to place our beds usually quite a large family would live inside a caravan like this and they would have some kind of cooker now remember we placed the chimney block on this block up here so we're going to put our chimney here and we're going to have this going all the way up to the ceiling so that that sort of connects in a kind of imaginary way we're also going to be putting in different kinds of counters now you can almost use any block for this i've used loom blocks crafting tables all kinds of different things so if you had a couple of caravans you could decorate this in different ways one of the things that you can do as well is add some trap doors and i quite like to do this so it looks a little bit like we have a sort of a work surface here but also you can access this as a chest and something which i think is quite a nice touch is to have an extendable table which can be put away and put back up again so that you can have your dinner Another thing I like to do is adding trapdoors on this side again and that means that you can actually stick a couple of barrels up here as if they are shelves and that kind of fills in some of that vertical space. 
Now, the inside of caravans like this, especially the ones belonging to travelers, are always highly, highly decorated. Even nowadays, they usually have a lot of beautiful crockery and things around. So we're gonna see if we can use some things in Minecraft to kind of simulate that. Now, if this was the olden days, you might actually have several family members who would sleep up here. So three beds would not be unreasonable. And we're gonna give them a little bit of a curtain space to add a bit of decoration, a little bit of a lamp for some light. And then you can just go absolutely mad with how many paintings you stick around here. So I'm actually gonna put one up here. Uh, not that one, that one. <laughs> and a few item frames as well and place flowers in them to kind of show like different kinds of decorations that people might have had. I'm also gonna stick one probably here actually. Let's not have the same one. Let's have a slightly different one, shall we? If we can get one. That's not too bad. So lots of paintings and things. We could probably even put one over here. And don't be shy about the decorations, guys. Really go for it because they would be incredibly highly decorated and they would probably have a lot of their anti-crockery on display so that people could admire it. Now, of course, if you're gonna use this caravan, there is nothing more important than having a traveler caravan that also has a beautiful pair of horses to draw it along with. That's a really nice one and a very nice one as well. So we're gonna leave these guys up to the front here so that they can begin to pull our wonderful caravan. And there you are guys, let's go take one last look at our little world with our beautiful caravan so you can have some more ideas of how you might decorate your own. Hello guys, welcome back to the Dark Oak Forest and I'm gonna show you around our beautiful campsite here. So I got the inspiration for these caravans because I actually used to work with quite a lot of travelers and uh, one of the families that I worked with actually still had their traditional caravan, which was really beautiful and they still used it to go to kind of horse shows and different things. So uh, some of these are kind of inspired by real ones I've seen and some are kind of like a bit from my imagination. Now, uh, uh, most traveler caravans do, as I say, tend to be kind of this red color. And I actually also added these um, signs at the bottom here to kind of make it look a little bit more contained. And I also forgot to add <laughs> the buttons on the bottom here, which kind of makes it look like the center of the wheel. Now, if we go inside this one here, lots of beautiful horses everywhere. A few different decorations. Again, kind of similar though. We've got uh, all sorts of item frames and paintings around. A different setup here with the chimney coming up in a different place. So you can kind of think about where you want it. A few kind of pots and things everywhere so there's one idea a couple of different slightly different decorations in here uh, if we go into the green one I've tried to keep with the yellow theme with all of them so they all have this kind of yellow accent color to go with the honey blocks but then the roof uh, on this one is a dark green so just have a quick look at it and the walls are a lighter green if we go inside this one has got again a little more of a green theme so i put lots of trees and things we've got the kind of the loom block there which almost looks like an empty kind of bookshelf or maybe like a cooking case the this time i've used a smoker for kind of the brown we've got a little bit more kind of yellow in here and there's another kind of bedroom design most of it is to do with kind of the colors and things that you add in i still love this kind of <laughs> temporary table <laughs> Now, I realized I'd made a mistake with this one when I built it. It's actually one block shorter than the rest, which is why this kind of looks a bit funny. But I decided in the end I'd actually keep it so that they would be, you know, have a bit of variation. So this one is the slightly smaller caravan with the sort of purpley colored blocks. And again, I kind of kept to the theme. So this one's got a slightly different countertop with the furnace in the corner over there. And I also ended up putting these open fence gates, actually just opening on there to make it look like that was being held up. And you can, if you're very careful, still get into that chest at the back there, I do promise you. <laughs> a few different things up here, more ch kind of barrels up here for storage. So you technically could use one of these as like a little mini base and make kind of a little camp here. I even tilled the soil, not tilled the soil, I forget what this is called, path blocks here to make it look like the wagons had been kind of put into place. And then like people had been walking around this area here and using this kind of little cauldron setup. We've got a few sheets drying over here and like this kind of collection of wood and things. And that, yeah, is my, uh, my little traveler camp setup. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please do let me know if you build any of these. I'd love to see them in your worlds. And uh, let me know what you think we should do next.